In this video, you'll learn how to set up an HTTP communication between two ESP32 boards to exchange data via Wi-Fi without the need to connect them to the internet. So, you don't need a router. Basically, you'll learn how to send data from one board to the other using HTTP requests. This project can be very useful if you need to set up a wireless communication between two boards or more and you don't have a router nearby. The code used in this tutorial is also fully compatible with ESP266 boards. You can find links to all the code and parts required in the links below this video. To compile the code for this project, you need to install all these libraries in your Arduino IDE. Here's a quick overview of this project. You have to prepare two ESP boards, a server, ESP number one, and the client, ESP number two. The server is set as an access point and it's connected to a BME 20 sensor. It retrieves sensor readings when you make an HTTP GET request in the slash temperature, slash humidity, or slash pressure URLs. The client is set as a Wi Fi station and connects to the server access point. Then it can request sensor readings on these URL paths. Let's prepare ESP number one, the server. Wire the BME 20 sensor to your board. Follow this schematic for the ESP32 or this one for the ESP266 board. Upload this code to your board. For testing, I recommend leaving the default SSID and password. Otherwise, the code for the other ESP should match these credentials. Now, prepare ESP number two, the client. Connect an OLED display to your board. If you're using the ESP32, follow this schematic, or use this one for the ESP266. Copy the code provided and upload it to your board. This board connects to ESP number one via Wi-Fi. As mentioned earlier, with this setup you don't need a router, because ESP number one is acting as a router and your ESP number two just connects and requests the latest sensor readings. Having both boards fairly close and powered, you'll see that ESP number two is receiving new temperature, humidity, and pressure readings every five seconds from the ESP number one. You can modify this project to exchange readings from any other sensor. We have guides for many other sensors that you can find in our blog. That's it for now. For the complete project details, visit our blog by clicking the first link in the video description. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to catch my next ESP projects.